Okay, this is my IMAX Taijin King Tiger with the Porsche turret. This is the one that has the plastic hull instead of like the metal torsion bar suspension and all that. It's the Taijin and not the Toro. Um, it's a great looking tank. I love this tank. Um, it looks great on the battlefield. It's got great detail. Um, but since the day I got it, it's never driven very well at all. In fact, it drives like crap. The uh, first problem I had was that the pins kept working loose out of the uh, tracks and they would separate. It's got the thin, long pins instead of the thick ones. Um, and the problem is that it's, it's an open pin track in the back. So you've only got one sixteenth on this end and one sixteenth on this end where that pin is actually holding those two together. If it slides out just like three thirty seconds of an inch, the whole thing will separate. So one of the first things I did was reworked the tracks. I went through and closed all of the uh, pins that I could, you know, made sure they were all as, as closed as possible and functioning right. I did a lot of work to the pins. Uh, flattening one end to give them a bigger diameter so that they'd fit better and not work out right. And I finally got the tracks to where they're getting there. They're pretty darn close. And the problem now is that the suspension, it's just not the greatest, man. It uh, it doesn't drive well. The road wheels have a tendency to ride up and get caught on the uh, guide horns and everything's in line. And when you set it down flat so it's not hanging, it's that's still the case. Everything is lined up. But I think a lot of these suspension arms have just got way too much play in them. So these are metal road wheels, which is another great thing about this tank. I only paid 350 bucks for it, and it's like the all-metal version. It's got metal tracks, sprockets, idlers, metal road wheels. Um, it's got metal exhaust. It's got separate Pioneer tools. It's got a metal barrel. It's, it's a great airsoft tank. It shoots great. That long barrel gives it really good repeatable accuracy. Once you get honed in, it'll put around there every time. Um, but it just doesn't drive for crap, you know? So I'm gonna try and fix that. And uh, because it is a decent quality setup to start with, all the road wheels are held on with set screws to metal suspension arms. So that'll be the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull all these road wheels, I'll lay them out in order so I know where each one came from. And uh, then I'm gonna rework the suspension arms and just make sure that everything is to the proper tightness and doesn't have too much play and travels like it's supposed to and properly lubed and you know, all that stuff. So this is just the beginning of the project, and this video is just so that I've got reference uh, to come back to. So see you next time.